I've had my share of designer bags, but there are a few styles that will never make it into my collection ever again. I'm going to be sharing with you the five designer bags that I would not buy again and the reasons why. Save yourself the same costly mistakes by watching today's video. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. Welcome back to all my beautiful subscribers. If you are new to this channel and love designer bags and luxury in general, then you are in the right place. Welcome to the family. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. So this video is going to be nothing short of savage. I was writing out the bags that I kind of figured I would never add to my collection again and I'll be totally honest with you there are a few bags that I'm about to take you through that I really don't want to admit that I was probably wrong the first bag is a bag that I like very much but I'm trying to be more realistic I have featured this in a few other videos for exactly the same reason the Chanel Deville tote bag I wanted this bag for the longest time and then it came out with the pearl logo on the front look at that in the accru this isn't to do with the color um, even though it is a light color which is a bit of a concern sometimes the thing that i've mentioned before about this bag is it's very heavy okay I, honestly it's got um i have got a bag liner in here it is stuffed but only with tissue even without that this bag is like i cannot Obviously I can't show you how heavy it is, but believe me, it's quite heavy. I still love the Deville. I still think it's a really pretty bag. Um, I still think it's definitely one of the prettiest designer tote bags that you can get. But again, admitting this is one of the bags that I don't want to admit that I was wrong, but I believe maybe I was. <laughs> it's just too heavy. Like I don't enjoy the thought of using this all the time and carrying it. Like you do get the additional straps so that you can put it onto your shoulder. I mean, look how beautiful it is. So, so, so pretty. Even like, I would use this bag, I'd put my laptop inside of it, I'd put notebooks inside, I'd put water bottles inside. It's just going to be ridiculously heavy. I have been very tempted to get one of these in a darker color rather than the cream, because cream obviously um, feels a bit risky at times to take out. But I'm trying to accept at the same time that this bag just isn't practical. They are still quite expensive. Uh, they retail just under £3,000 generally. It depends which one you go for. And yeah, I think for me, I don't think I'll be adding a Deville to my collection again. Not because it's not beautiful, but just because it's too heavy and I don't like the idea of lugging such a heavy bag around before I've even put anything in it. The second bag. I won't be adding another one to my collection. This was even harder than the Deville to admit, I'll be honest. I still kind of don't want to show it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Steph the 19. Okay, the Chanel 19 bag. I have two of these. I have um, a small caramel here. This is a large. I wanted two different sizes because why buy the same bag in the same size? I got the large because the large is a better size. I will say that. The large is the better size out of the two in terms of what it can carry. I like to carry more stuff with me than, you know, minimal. I don't just have like a card holder and my phone. I like to maybe bring a bottle of perfume with me or a bottle of water and maybe an iPad or a book. This is much better suited to my needs, the size. But I did a vlog around Bista Village on my channel, go and check that out after this. And I carried this around all day. I cross bodied it, okay? And to be honest, I generally get shoulder ache wearing any bag, even if it's a small one. But <laughs> my shoulders were really hurting after carrying this around all day. So it was a good test. But yeah, I mean, I don't really think I thought through when I would use this because I figured, oh, I'm, I'm gonna need a bigger bag. If I need a bigger bag, I'll, I'll take a tote bag with me. I will use my Louis Vuitton on the go or my Neverfull. The 19 isn't really that bag for me. I would wear the 19 shopping and then the smaller size is actually better because I'm not lugging around so much stuff with me. But to take a book and an iPad and stuff, like I'm just not gonna use this bag. That is not what this bag is for. So to summarize, this is not about the Chanel 19. It is just the large size for me. I won't be adding another one of these to my collection and when and if I do decide to sell this one, I probably won't add another large to my collection ever again. I would stick with the small size. Small size is more popular. Everyone knows this already. I just figured I don't want, because I did get offered this, the black tweed in the small. Probably should have gone with that in hindsight, but hindsight's a beautiful thing. You can learn from my mistakes. Um, unless you are happy to take on 
This bag's heavy. This chain is thick. This chain is thick. Like, it is not a light bag and I don't wanna be crossbodying and carrying this around all day. So for me, it's a small size with the 19 or nothing. The next bag I no longer have because I sold it. But I knew as soon as it arrived, it was not for me and I will never be adding one to my collection again to the dismay of a lot of you that might actually like this bag. But take it with a pinch of salt. If you love this bag, then that is totally cool. It's just really not my style. This is the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette bag. I had the one with the pink, the rose pink strap, which was really, really nice. And yeah, it just was not for me. There was a lot going on. You had like a coin purse here, bags flapping around here. Uh, if you filled these bags too much, they kind of stuck out even more. You then had the chain going on. Like, I get it. It's meant to be trendy, cool, but I said in a previous video that I don't think they're trendy and cool. I think they just look a bit cheap, to be honest. Um, I do think the leather versions, the on front leather versions, which they have brought out, look a lot better, but, and I have been tempted, <laughs> the chain looks a lot nicer on those, but I still don't think the multi pochette in general is a bag style. I just like a kind of normal, simple style bag. I'm really into Chanel at the minute that just works practically, that's effortless. You know, I don't need all this jazz going on and I will never be adding a multi pochette to my collection again. The fourth bag is from Louis Vuitton. Now I actually have this bag in a different size. So this is size specific. It is a Louis Vuitton Capucines bag. I had a version in the MM size, which is one of the larger sizes of the Capucines bag. I think it is the largest size that they do do now. I had it in the Galay color with gold hardware. I can honestly say I really liked it. Like it was stunning. The color and the gold hardware looked incredible. It was like a beigey gray kind of color, more beige, I would say. And it felt such good quality and it just smelled, oh, it was so good. Like this isn't a dig at the Capucines because I definitely want to add a Capucines to my collection, another one again, but I learned my lesson. Because the bag is such good quality, it's quite similar to the Deville bag, the Chanel Deville bag. Because they're such good quality, the leather's there, like the craftsmanship, like just everything feels so luxurious with these bags. Same with the Capucines, even though that's made from all leather. Because they're so good, they're so heavy. There's no way you're getting around that. Like the, the leathers and the fabrics that they use are literally next to none, but it makes the bag really heavy. And with the Capucines, it has the kind of thing in the middle, um, a compartment in the middle, zipper compartment with the MM, then two compartments either side, and then you've got the flap over the top. I use the MM very briefly as a work bag, a designer bag, a very uh, bougie uh, work bag, and I absolutely loved it, but I would never add the MM to my collection again. I've sold that one now, and I will only stick to the small sizes, a bit like what's kind of happened with the Chanel 19. Last but not least, the fifth bag that I would never buy again. Never say never, I know they say that, but I definitely don't think I will buy this bag again. I've had quite a few of them. I've got one of them and I, I just don't like this bag, but it's possibly the most popular designer bag in the world. Okay, you might already know which bag I'm gonna grab next. It is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote bag. I'm not saying that this bag is a bad bag, but for me, I'm kind of done with it. I'm kind of over it. I do think they're super great in terms of if you just want a grab and go bag that you can fit loads of stuff inside, the Neverfull is the bag to go for. But I find the straps a bit annoying. They're kind of up here and they always fall off your shoulder. Um, I feel like way too exposed with this bag. All you gotta do is like drop a thing and everyone can see everything in your bag. So I've bought liners for the bag and I've got one with a zipper over the top. Makes it a bit more private, but then it kind of defeats the point of having a Neverfull, especially if it's got a zip over the top because you kind of want that height that you actually get from the bag. So for me, mine is a limited edition version with the roses on. Uh, it took me absolutely ages to track this bag down. That is why it's still here now. If this didn't have the roses on, I probably wouldn't have it. I probably would have sold it. There are times that I've thought about selling this and then because it was just so hard to get in the first place, I figured why, why would I bother doing that? Let's just keep it and you know use it on the odd occasion. Um, but for me, 
The annoying thing about the Neverfull is that Louis Vuitton bring out the Neverfull in like the best prints. You know, when they bring out all the new colors, it's always the Neverfull that gets the bag that gets that on. So I'm always really tempted with like new prints and stuff like that. But overall, just as a bag, I, I never use this. I will use, and I've talked about this a lot in other videos, I use my on the go. It is more expensive, but you see a hell of a lot less than them than you do the Neverfull. You can flip it around, get a different color if you get the canvas version, which are now quite hard to get, but you can get leather versions of the bag. This is the MM size. So the same size as the Neverfull. The Neverfull is bigger, but I just really like the structure of this bag a lot more. So for me, I think my Neverfull days are just over. Let me know in the comments down below, are there any bags that you've had in your collection previously or you still got in your collection, but maybe they're just not working out how you thought they would you know, they're just not the right bags for you. I absolutely love to hear from you and get your thoughts as well. So yeah, definitely do leave me a comment. Now, make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'm going to be linking my latest video releases here for you. Enjoy.